I'm at. Does anyone have any regrets about their published? You got any regrets about any of your publication journey? Or I regret nothing. <laughs> no. um, I thought you were going to yes. say everything. Yeah. Yes and no, because it's one of those things like I made mistakes. I can tell you the first cover I, I designed myself was special. Um, boy, did that get replaced. Um, one of the things, just from a story uh, point of view, I realized that when I finished my first novel and put it out, that I, while I'd left things ready for a new novel, I hadn't considered how to jump from the end of this one to the next yeah. one. And so one of the things that, that I learned, and I don't view it as so much a regret as a learning point, was to work out, okay, when you finish a novel, have you tidied everything up because you're done? Have you, are you doing a trilogy so you know that everything's open? Are you doing a series where each book's its own story, but you want them to connect? And if you're doing that, that latter one, you've got to think about what the next scene might be, just so, even if it isn't that, but just so you've left yourself an open. And so that, that's my one bit of advice. I don't think it's good to have regrets. I think it's good to learn. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Not, not regrets as such, just more that... And, and I think this is why these panels are so important. We have made all the mistakes. All the mistakes. <laughs> um, I think, look, in terms of your first book, my biggest kind of thing would be with the first book I wrote, um, when I'm writing, because it, it, was, it was a dark urban fantasy, and when you're writing it, there's that part of you that's like, I want to have mystery. I, I don't want the reader to know what's going on. I want, I want things to be, you know, to be discovered later. Yeah. That's good to a point. Yes. But if you do it so far that the reader doesn't know what's going on, then they're going to get lost and confused and not enjoy the story. So there is a balance between having things that can be left to be discovered later, and especially with fantasy and anything with, with magic systems and all of that, the reader, and, and I pump all this into people that ask me about writing, the readers have to understand what's going on and why characters are doing certain things. So that was my first kind of thing. Like if a character does anything, literally anything, the reader has to know why they are doing that. And that's something in my first like stories that I didn't quite have nailed down because I was all about, ooh, they're going to discover this later and it's going to be... It didn't occur to me how confusing it was going to be. <laughs> so, yeah, again, it's not so much a regret. You're right. It's a learning curve. Yeah. And that's, yeah, that's it. And, I mean, I've, I've recently just unpublished my first two books because I was just so excited about finishing them and printing them and, and like, making them that I kind of got a bit excited and did it a bit too early. So I've actually just decided that I'm going to take my first two books and rewrite them completely differently. Still keep the story, but then change the way the series works. So, like, and again, it's not a regret. It's a recognition of how much I've learned, how far I've come, and how much better I can make it now. And that that's okay. Yeah, what they yeah. said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, basically, it's probably not a regret as such because the, each book I'm writing is what my headspace is in at the time. The thing is going back, like my first one was about 10 years. No. Yeah, more. Shoot, shoot more. Um, and you go back and go, oh my God, I wrote that. Sometimes it's like, oh my God, I wrote that. But it's like, I would write that differently now and I have considered redoing it, but I thought, no, I'm going to keep moving forward because with my headspace, if I go back on just never go forward and um, I do my own covers and the first the ones bag, I did the covers at the time they were appropriate for an indie author in steampunk but I have since redone four covers um, and leaving uh, coming up to a book launch uh, leaving not having a proper schedule going up to a book launch and leaving it to the last minute not having that life coming up yeah. I'm trying to do that but it's not I'm actually organising some this year. It's quite, quite amazing. <laughs> Anything to add, Matt? Not really. I don't think everyone's covered all the things that we've all experienced. Yeah. yeah. 